welcome to Stay Home, Eat Great. I'm Steve Lopez. There's many cooking channels, there's many uh, avenues, there's many ways of learning how to cook, learning new recipes available to us now. And, and we're thankful for it. But in the late 80s, in the late 70s, there was very few uh, people cooking on the air. There was very few people cooking on TV. But in the late 80s, uh, there was a gentleman named Chef Jacques Pepin. And uh, he, he, he taught many people how to cook. He taught many people about the French cuisine and the French techniques in cooking. So today I'd like to take part in what I'm calling the Jacques Pepin French Omelette Challenge. Why don't we hear a little bit from Jacques Pepin? If I had to judge how good technically a chef is, I probably would ask him to do an omelette. It is difficult to make a real good omelette. And as you see, it is a gas stove and of course the gas is going to be much better than the electric because you want to have the flame to go around and a good stove should give you a great amount of heat for an omelette or a classic omelette. This one just a shy of omelette. So you can see here that my pan is hot but I don't want it as hot as the other one. So again we put it in there and now contrary to what I did before just letting uh, the eggs get into large curves here with the bowl of smallest possible cure than at the end of it about at the end of it like now I want to bring all of the mixture I bring on this side as you can see basically everything is there that is instead of having one layer which I roll like a carpet everything is there run my knife around bring back the lip and you can see here I want to have a nice half moon shape run this behind to bring back that lip hit it there which as you can see bring it up then push it down, you want a nice corner, bring that this way, next bang it to have it to the edge of the pan, then invert it to have an omelette, a classic omelette which should be white like this or pale yellow, just pointed at the end like this, smooth without any pleat. This is what I do. then you will see that the center of that omelette is very creamy and very soft very nice, which is the way the classic omelette should be. Jacques Pepin, just the mastery, just the skill, the technique. Uh, and of course, I'm going to have a few little problems here. First off, I'm not a classically trained French chef. Uh, but two, he has a gas stove and I have a, a flat top uh, glass electric stove. So I'm going to try my best at this. I'm going to use what I have and I'm hoping to be able to... Uh, conquer this uh, French omelet challenge. So here we go. The the recipe is a 10 inch uh, frying pan, a 10 inch uh, non-stick frying pan, four eggs. Uh, he, I'm gonna do the one with the chives, so I chopped up some fresh chives here, and butter. I'll, I'll, get, I'll put a little pinch of salt to taste as well. So we're gonna start off first with beating our four eggs. Just in case. All right, so we have our butter going here, and we don't want to burn it, and we don't want it to brown either. I believe at this point you can see that the the butter will let you know when it's when it's time to bring the eggs in. The butter's melted and not browning. Heat up a little bit. Put a little pinch of salt. A little more on the doneness here.
We'll, we'll forget that this is here. <laughs> this is the first try. No, I, it's still a little raw here, but I know it's supposed to be a little soft on the inside. This is take one. And now we're ready on this side. Right. <laughs> there, there you go. go. <laughs> first try. All right. So that was my first try. Uh, it was a little runny still. Uh, it hadn't solidified yet. So I'm going to give it another go. And I'm going to go ahead and let the top get a little more uh, firm before I start doing the whole uh, flip thing, the, the taco. <laughs> All right, so here goes my second try. Try not to see any of the, any of the long pieces of egg white. There you go, there you go. Come on with our butter. Up the temp, it's it's melted. You don't you don't want it brown. All right, let's come with our eggs. You can see the small curves on the bottom. I'm trying for it not to be jiggly anymore. Bring some of that back over here. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna fold this over. And then get it to the edge. Bring it to the edge. This side to come over now. There you go. There we have our classic French omelet. As we cut, we want to look inside here. There you go, nice and creamy on the inside, not completely solid. There you have it, your classic French omelet in the style of French chef Jacques Pepin. So now, uh, to give us a taste, let's have a look. Firm, tasty on the outside, I can taste the chives, but I can also taste on the inside a little bit of uh, the curd. The curd's a little soft, and uh, that's that's what it is. It, here in, in the United States, we we like a, a well done or even even toasted or browned on one side egg. Uh, as and the country omelet is uh, what we see at our big restaurants here with mushrooms and cheese and sausage and bacon and all that potatoes, all that. But this is the uh, classic French omelet. So I I learned a lot today and I had a lot of fun today. I hope you did as well. I challenge you to give uh, this classic French omelet a try at home. Hey, it's just a couple of eggs and it's pretty quick. Learning new techniques, learning new things. That's what I'd like to do with this channel, giving you new recipes every week, but also uh, a little bit of backstory and history on uh, the art of cooking. In order to keep my uh, videos coming to you, my recipes, don't forget to click subscribe. Uh, you're gonna see right here uh, the little button and ring, ring the bell as well. When you ring the bell, you'll be notified each week. That just helps us continue uh, getting these great recipes out to you. Feel free to leave me a comment, maybe a picture of your omelet. Again, I'm Steve Lopez uh, for Stay Home Eat Great. Uh, God bless you and be safe.